If you guys wanna get started on TikTok and you don't wanna show your face, then this is the video for you. This is because in this video, I'm going to show you an extremely simple niche to get started in. And as a result, you'll be able to quickly scale your account to thousands of views. Creating videos for this niche is extremely easy. And I'll show you the exact steps in order to do this for yourself. So let's reveal this niche. This TikTok page will be our main competitor. They're posting in this self-improvement niche, which will be the focus of today's video, and all their videos have millions of views, and this has gained them 700,000 followers. I'll play you one of their videos so that you get an idea of what we're going to make in this video. Once there was a boy. He was very popular and everyone wanted to be friends with him, but his mother had only one eye and was the school's cleaning lady, so he didn't want to be seen with her. One day she wanted to know the grades of him and unexpectedly came to his class. All right, so you now get the gist of this niche. So let's get into exactly how to create this content for ourselves. In this video description, there's a Google Doc, which is full of everything we're going to use in this video. Add to it and open it up. Also in this description is my school community. Join it if you wanna go viral. The first thing we need to make sure is that we have an eligible TikTok account. The TikTok creativity program is only available in some certain regions. However, if you're outside these regions, I have accounts for sale in this video's description. Enough talk, let's start scripting one of these videos. In order to script our video, as you know, this AI tool will allow us to come up with video ideas every single day. I'll start by asking the AI to create me a 1000 character script about a mistake slash setback and how it can turn into a win down the line. If you guys want this exact prompt, I'll leave it in the Google Doc for you to use. Now that the AI has generated a subscript, look over it. If you're happy with it, we now need to ask the AI to generate some image problems for us. This is so we can animate story just like the example account did. So I'll ask the AI to break our script up into different sections and then provide an image generation prompt for each section. I'm also going to reassure it that it's fine to repeat the same prompt as we need a lot of images to keep our video engaging. The AI has begun to do its thing. However, it's only left me with around six image prompts and this would make our video really boring. To get around this, all I'm going to do is ask the AI to make 20 in total so we can display one every three seconds. It will take some time, but the eye should leave you with 20 image prompts that we can use in just a second. Leave this tab open and we can start the image generation process. Once you run Leonardo, the first thing you wanna do is hit this big image creation button in the middle of your screen. This will take you ahead to the image generation page. On here, we need to change a few settings. The first thing we need to do is change the generation model. The best generation model for this sort of content is this one called Cinematic Kino. So find it and select it. With that done, you wanna head down and under image dimensions, make some changes. Hit this more button. And once the next page is loaded, hit the TikTok format. These are all the changes that we need to do. So now we can go ahead and swing back to ChatGPT. We'll stop once here, find out first image prompt, and then head back to Leonardo. Once back in Leonardo, paste your image prompt into the box and then hit generate. The generation process will take a moment, so I'm going to fast forward to when it's done. As you can see, we now have some really good images to use for her video. Of the four generated, you wanna pick one you like. Now hover your mouse over the image and hit these two arrows that say use as image guidance. On the next page, we have some options. And the one that we want to hit is this character reference one. What this does is it makes sure that every image that we generate will be of the exact same character so our video isn't compiled of random people. With this selected, you now want to begin to copy over the nest of your prompts. Remember, head back to ChatGPT, find the prompt, paste it into Leonardo, and then hit generate. I'll now fast forward to when all our images are generated. As you can see, all that images are done, and I think they came out very good. We now want to add some animation to our images. To do this, start by hitting this back button in the top left. Once on the next page, head just below that and hit personal feed. You now need to scroll down until you find the first set of images that we generated. Click on the one that you want to use and then this page will pop up. Once on this page, we want to hit this image to motion button. On the next page, you wanna drag this strength slider to around. Once that's done, hit generate. Now, you wanna repeat this process with all of your images. Now, if you're on a free plan, you'll have a watermark. However, it's only like $10 to upgrade, and I think it's 100% worth it. All right, as you can see, our images are now done. I think the animation came out really good, 
and all we want to do now is save these images to our device. Before we continue, I really quickly want to talk about my school community. If you guys are struggling to go viral on TikTok, then this is the place to be. We have multiple in-depth guides, as well as a spreadsheet with over 100 plus niches, so check it out in this video's description. With our images done, I'll also show you how to get images for this style of content that the account also posts. This part is super easy. Start by heading to this website called Pixels. Once you're on here, you want to hit this drop down and change the search criteria from photos to videos. Once you've done that, you want to search for luxury in the search bar. Once you've searched it, we need to change a few settings. Filter it to bring up some more options. And you now want to change the orientation to vertical. With this done, select and download as many clips as possible that you can overlay during your video. I also have a pack for sale in this video's description that contains over 4,000 HD clips that you can use for this style of video. The last thing we need to grab for our video is the voiceover, swing back to ChatGPT, and copy the original script. Now head to 11 Labs using the link in the Google Doc. Once you're on 11 Labs, we need to select a voice from this dropdown. You can hit this play button to try out a few and click one once you have one you like. Now all we need to do is paste in the script from ChatGPT and then hit generate speech. Once 11 Labs has done his thing, download the voiceover. We now have everything for our video, so we're going to go ahead and edit it all together. To do this, I'll use CapCut. Once you're on CapCut and have hit new project, we want to start by importing everything for our video. The first thing we want to do is find our voiceover and drag it into the timeline like so. Now, 11 labs isn't perfect, and there may be some spaces of dead air in our voiceover. In order to deal with these, you need to split the air either side, delete the middle section, and drag it all back together. You now need to do this for your entire voiceover. Trust me, it's worth to do this to get a viral video. With our voiceover now done, the next thing we need to do is to add in all our images. Drag in your images one by one onto the timeline. You want to make sure that they are in order and that they correspond with what's being said currently in the voiceover. As the Leonardo animation make your images four second long videos, you don't actually need to trim them. I'll skip to when all my images are in place. With our images done, the next thing I'll add is a transition. Head to transitions in the top left. Now on this page, you want to search for a specific one called Black Fade. Once you found it, drag it between your first two images. With this now in place, head to the top right of CapCut and lower the duration to about 0.2 seconds. With that done, the final thing you want to do is hit is apply to all button. This will put the transition between every single photo that we have. We next want to add an adjustment to our video. Add to adjustment in the top left of cap and on the next page add a custom adjustment to our video. Once it's in place, drag out the slider so it covers the whole video. Now head to the top right and the first thing that I'll do is lower the exposure slider a bit. This will make our video a bit darker. Once that's done, you want to scroll down further. Once you've found the slider that says vignette, you want to increase this to around 25. The last thing we need to do now is add some text to our video. Head to text the top left of CapCut. Once on here, you want to hit Auto Captions. On the next page, hit Generate. Now you may find these are a pro feature. If that's the case, you can use an editor like VN to add them for free, link in the Google Doc. Once your captions are generated, you want to select them all and then head to the top right of Cap. Once we're here, we need to hit on Templates in order to edit our text really easily. I think I'll go with this one that reveals the words like this. With our captions done, so is our video. That's all for today's video. Remember to join my school community. Bye.